Hello, I am Sarah Ayler and I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager for Softlex Company. And for those of you that follow my videos regularly, you know I've been a little under the weather this week, but I am doing much better. I'm on day four, um, so I still sound a little off, but I'm actually feeling really fantastic compared to what I feel, felt like on Monday. Um, so again, thank you for all the wonderful warm wishes in our Facebook VIB group, um, our very important feeder group, uh, you know, wishing me well and to get better. I really appreciate your thoughts. Hey, Emily. Oh, I feel a lot better. It's, it's amazing what some rest and time can really do for you. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff I want to cover with you guys as we get going. If you've never been to one of these design challenges before, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview. Today we're doing Harvest Moon. This is a kit that we sold last month for this video. So there are a bunch of folks out there that have this kit. It is sold out. You won't be able to buy this exact kit again. Um, but there's a bunch of people out there that have this kit. They are going to bead with me or have already beaded with it or will be beading with it in the future. Um, but we encourage you to take the projects that you design post them in our VIB group. I didn't look at the calendar for a good date to finish our giveaway this time, so I'll post that after the video. Um, but you're gonna post your photos of your designs in the VIB group. Every single design is an entry to win our next available kit. And um, so that will be super fun. Our next available kit after the one we're selling today will be Christmas themed. So if you really love Christmas, this would be a good time to post some of your Harvest Moon designs. Um, so we'll be opening that. I barely remember what is inside these kits by the time I get to opening it. I have no pre-plan of what I'm gonna make. Um, and so you will be discovering the kit along with me and we will be making something on the spot. And sometimes that means that I might make a mistake or I might make something and not like it and remake it. Um, and that's kind of part of the fun in these videos. If you like straight up tutorials, go to our YouTube page. We've got tons of those uh, being added on a regular basis and lots of old ones too. So let's get to uh, the big deal. This is next month's kit. So when I looked at the calendar, I realized that I'm going to be designing with the next kit on Halloween and I thought oh my god it'd be so fun to have an actual Halloween kit um, it's not overtly Halloween I will tell you that it's very jewelry friendly um, anybody whether you like Halloween or don't like Halloween you could make really great stuff with this kit um, but it does have some really fun Halloween elements and it's definitely inspired by Halloween. And I will be using this kit on Halloween afternoon at 1 p.m., so October 31st, 1 p.m., and we'll be making something with it. So I hope you'll join me that day. That will be a great way to kick off your Halloween and make some um, great stuff with the Halloween kit. Um, I'm, ex I'm super excited about that. And it's super cute. Oh, and Jesse James Beads contributed some things that are in here and you know how great they are with holiday stuff. So this is for sale on our website now www.softflexcompany.com. So you're going to go there, buy your kit, and then I also wanted to point out we have our new trio. I told you I really wanted this trio and <laughs> without discussing it with anyone I posted it <laughs> and asked for uh, names possible names for this trio and we got hundreds of replies uh, between Instagram and the VIB group and our regular Facebook page and after going through all of them I really liked Autumn Spice and so that's what we ended up with uh, as a name for this trio but I wanted to let you know about this trio especially because these colors are really great with Harvest Moon which we're going to be using today and with the new Halloween kit. So if you're getting the, the Black Magic Halloween kit today, I highly suggest you look at uh, Autumn Spice as well. And I have a really pair, a cute pair of earrings I'll show you. In fact, let's flip down and I'll show those to you. I made these in my first book, which is called Show Your Colors. Um, it's available really limited. It's because it's out of print, but we have a few copies here 
at Softlex. You can also find that on the website. Um, so this pair of earrings is actually in my first book, and it's red jasper wire, and then I used an orange seed bead and a purple crystal, and this is when I fell in love with this color combination. I just think it's so, so stunning together. I have another really beautiful bracelet made in these colors that was in Bead Style Magazine, but I couldn't locate that today uh, when I was looking around, but I did find these earrings that I made like a million years ago um, in Show Your Colors. So I thought that would be fun for you guys to see uh, now that this new Autumn Spice Trio is available. So you can pick up one of these trios and you can pick up one of the Halloween kits right on our website. I suggest you do that quickly because these kits are the ones that sell out the fat most quickly. And I imagine um, there's a lot of Halloween lovers out there that are going to be on this kit quickly. All right, so one last thing I wanted to mention is that we have our findings on sale, fall findings sale on our website. All findings and crimps are 20% off this week, so that's another thing to check out. Okay, so we've gotten through all my announcements, which was a lot today. Let's get down to brass tacks and look at what's inside this Harvest Moon Kit. I really appreciate everybody being patient about my having to move it from Tuesday to Thursday um, since I had a cold. I rested a lot on Tuesday, and it felt really good, so I'm really glad I made that choice. Um, I have a big week next week. I'm traveling to Ohio and I'm going to be taping segments for Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels on PBS. And so I really have to be at my best uh, next week especially. And so I really wanted to make sure I took the time to take care of myself um, and, and be prepared for traveling. Because, you know, traveling's hard. Oh, Sue says, love the earrings. Thanks, Sue. I think they're so cute. I think I called them carnival in, um, I'll have to look back and show your colors. It was like Carnival or something, which is sort of funny because I think that was one of the names that a lot of people chose was like Mardi Gras and Carnival um, for that trio. Great minds think alike, don't they? Okay, so Harvest Moon is obviously inspired by the fall. Um, we really wanted to sort of pick up those colors of fall. I was just saying yesterday here in California, we're still seeing like some high degree days and obviously the, the leaves aren't really changing yet. We haven't seen any rain in what feels like a million years. Um, so I have been sort of craving fall um, and missing, you know, and maybe because I haven't traveled much this year too. Usually I travel somewhere where I see fall. Um, so this is, this is kind of exciting for me because <laughs> I, I have definitely been missing, um, missing fall this year. So we've got a 10 foot spool of copper beading wire. This is actually, um, this is soft flex. It's a 49 strand stainless steel braided beading wire coated in a copper color nylon coating. So there's not actually any copper in the beading wire. It's very flexible, just like your regular soft flex. If you've ever seen our beading wire before, it's very kink resistant and very strong. This particular one in 019 is a 26 pound test, um, which is not just like 26 pounds of beads. It's 26 pounds of beads, uh, moving. So this is actually a test strength that comes over from the fishing industry. Um, and so it's more about like a fish running down river is my understanding. Um, it's 26 pounds in motion that will snap this wire. Um, so it, it's going to take a lot of force uh, to break this wire. And, um, and it's got a really great nylon coating that feels really soft and very flexible. So we've got our copper soft flex, um, which is fun. And then James 
put a lot of this together himself. I helped just with a little bit with the colors, um, but James put everything together here because he's our resident Halloween person. Um, and I see he's on here uh, watching. So we'll have to give him props on what a great job he did. But he did a bunch of copper findings for this one to match the copper wire. And then of course we've got our Softlex copper crimps, which are really thick and really strong and seamless. Um, so everything can sort of match and work together. Anytime we do one of these kits, we really try hard to make sure that anyone can participate. Uh, even if you're brand new to beading and you don't have any other beads, if you just get some basic tools and a kit, you should be able to make what I'm making on the video. We've got a bunch of beautiful beads. We've got some rounds. We've got um, some, oh, these are such a pretty color, like a citrine color in, it's kind of a tube. Welcome, James. You always do such a nice job. Uh, we've got kind of a deep red in a barrel. We've got some more of that dark brown in uh, one of these like kind of thin, thin um, round beads. We've got our uh, red, deep dark red bicones. They're coming across black on video, but they're deep dark red. Awesome, Rosanna. She said she just ordered your new, the new kit. I think you guys are going to have so much fun with me on Halloween with the new kit. I think that's going to be like a great day to play around with Halloween colors. We've got some of these uh, cute little round and flat kind of disc beads. We've got a beautiful selection of Swarovski crystals, one big guy, and then a few really small sweet crystals. We've of course got some seed beads and some bugle beads just to fill it in. And look at these, these are picture Jasper. These are real gemstones that came from our gallery. We cut up some strands to make these um, for you. And um, I think those are so pretty. I'm definitely gonna use the picture Jasper because I think those are really fantastic. Um, and then I might even, one, two, three, four, I could do these little cute little crystals. These cute little Swarovskis with that. Let's pull those out. I'm already on it, you guys, look at this. Oh, and there's also some silk cord, not to underplay the black silk cord, uh, which can be really handy um, for making different designs too. Like you can do head pins and hang them from there. And we'll, we'll take a look at that possibly, uh, depending on how well my voice holds out uh, during this, this video. So I'm already thinking something really cute like that would be fun. Um, kind of want to add in maybe this darker brown. So we'll pull some of these out just so I have them prepared. And then I'm gonna string it up and kind of take a look and see what it all is looking like. If I like it, if I don't like it, um, kind of get an idea of what's going on. Yeah, I guess you could call it blood red. It's almost like the deep dark garnet that we were looking at on the live sale yesterday where it's so dark red that it almost comes across as black, um, but it, it's definitely red, like a deep dark maroon garnet-y type of a color. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull some wire out, and you can see I just held onto my little clip here and rolled it out. And um, I usually don't cut my wire off until I know what I'm doing. <laughs> It's probably a good rule of thumb, right? Don't cut your wire off until you know what in the heck is going on. Um, so I won't do that. I kind of like um, the idea of this color getting in here somehow too. So I'm just going to play around with some combination of these beads just to see, oop, just to see what it might look like. Go with this one first. It's hard to say until you get something strong on your wire. I'm gonna be working down here in the bottom of the screen because that's the space that's open. If the comments are in the way, you can always swipe them left or right to get them off the screen if you don't wanna look uh, at me through the comments, if you're on a mobile phone especially. 
and I'm just going to quickly put a few items on here and see how it kind of plays out. I don't like how this one's looking with that one, so I can already tell you I'm going to want to take that off, but I don't mind how this is playing here. I kind of like those colors. Um, so let me grab out let me grab out my cutters. And if you missed yesterday's live sale, just so you know, it's right here on Facebook. You can find it in our video section. In fact, it's probably pinned at the top of the page. And um, I had like 200 and some items from our gallery, or actually from Mike's private collection, which is in our gallery too, I guess, um, on the live sale yesterday. I'm just going to clip this off just for normally wouldn't do that because I don't like to waste wire but I just want to pull this off because I don't like how it looks okay there we go and I'm gonna look for a bead stopper now while I'm thinking about it because I am total fumble fingers with this kind of stuff so this is a bead stopper it's really handy you can find these on our website too it just clips right onto the wire and you don't have to worry about your beads sliding off because um, that can be so stinking annoying. <laughs> so there we go, and then I'm gonna keep on stringing and see how I like how this, if I like how this is turning out. So anyway, back to the live sale. I had like 200 and some items, I don't remember how many, and uh, gemstones and glass beads. It's open till Sunday. If you've never been to one of our live sales before, I suggest you at least give it a watch. And there's always items still available over the weekend. It's open till Sunday, and then we'll pull your orders on Monday. Ooh, I'm loving this. I can already tell you I'm like, I'm loving, loving, loving this. What do you guys think? Do you like how this is coming together? Oh, Rosanna says 232 different items. Hopefully I got what I ordered. If you watch it on the live sale, it's much more likely that you'll get what you order. Um, it does, over the weekend, things do start to dwindle a little bit. I'm loving how this looks. I think I might just crimp on either side and then add my clasp on the back end, um, and I will feel great about this necklace. Um, I think it's super cute. So I'm going to take... Um, Take out some of these crimps. These are two by two millimeter copper crimp tubes. Uh, again, they're soft flex crimp tubes. They, even though they don't have the the tag header card on them, they are soft flex crimp tubes. They're very thick and strong. First, I'm going to <coughs> excuse me. I should get a cough drop. <coughs> And there I go. Okay. All right. I'm going to find the center, and I'm going to bead stopper. And that way, <coughs> I can cut a little piece of wire here. A little snippet. And I'm going to string my crimp tube onto the wire. Yeah, these crimps are 20% off. And it's an automatic discount, right? Um, it, it, as they put it in the shopping cart, it'll just automatically show up on our website. Our crimps come in sterling silver copper, which is what we're using here, a bare copper, which will patina and then uh, also gold filled. So I've got this little scrap of wire I stuck in. Lots of you have seen me do this before because I'm going to use the magical crimpers. I really want the crimp to be able to grip into the nylon coating of the wire. And so I'm going to um, go ahead and crimp this extra wire in there and then I will just trim it off. So when I crimp, 
If you haven't seen this before, you can also find these pliers on our website. The crimp tube fits right in the center of the crimping plier, and when I compress it the first time, it'll create what looks like a little four corner square. I'm gonna come in the opposite direction and crimp again, and then I'm gonna go around and around several times, crimping, and basically making that crimp tube into a little round bead. That's gonna hold my beads in, in place on the wire. That's why I'm doing it right next to the beads. And I can just come in with my cutters and trim. And trim. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'll just use a little bit of this leftover snippet of wire. Oh, I love this one, it's so pretty. Now, if you don't like the exposed wire, you can always do these seed beads, the brown seed beads up the sides. That would take me forever on a live video, so it's not something I would do here. Um, but by all means, you could definitely do some seed beads up the sides. So just so you can see what's happening, this is already starting to turn a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do is just make sure that I don't pull this so tight that it doesn't have flexibility to drape nicely. And that's always really important in crimping. It's okay to leave a little bit of space between the crimp and your last bead so that you do have that flexibility for it to move around. And then I'm gonna come in with my crimping pliers just like I did before. And I'll go ahead and crimp. I hope you guys that got the Harvest Moon kit um, are loving this picture Jasper, these picture Jasper drops as much as I do. When we looked at them, I thought, oh, they look like little crackled, like the color of crackled leaves, you know, in the fall. Like that really pretty brown with some like dark patches and they just reminded me so much of, of fall leaves. I think they're so pretty. And then the copper colored softlux I think is just always really pretty in the fall. It's just like a perfect fall color. So there we go. We've got the basic start of our necklace and then we're just gonna do a clasp on the back end. So I'm just gonna grab how to clasp here. Looks like there's kind of a cool S-hook clasp. That's pretty. So I think I'll use that one um, on the back end here. And I'm just gonna do a quick adjustment, just see what length I want this to be. I'm going for kind of a shorter necklace here. So I just uh, kind of measured it <laughs> on my own neck to see where I would want it to fall. And then I'm just holding on to the, my end of my wire here. I don't always finish off the necklaces here on the live video because I usually am focused on what's going on in front. But th there are some nice things about watching the finishing part too. So I'm kind of just keeping in mind that spot on the wire that I wanted it to land um, while I adjust my loop. So I took the wire, went through the crimp tube, into the clasp, back into the crimp, and I am going to go ahead and crimp again. I'm going to go around and around it. Making sure it's all good. And then I can slide in with the flat side of my cutter. You can find these Italian cutters on our website as well, should you need a, a nice pair of cutters. We also still have our professional cutters left too, and we're kind of debating if we're gonna continue carrying them um, or not. We haven't decided yet. So if we don't continue carrying them, now is the time to buy one. Um, I'm not sure, still undecided. Okay, so in order to find the other side evenly, I often will just kind of pull from the middle and I'll let my fingers trail up the wire 
until my thumb catches that spot. And then I can kind of let go of the second one and slide my crimp tube on the other half of the clasp. And then I'll just go back in to my crimp tube and pull this down. And you always want to kind of eye it out. You know, you want the loop on the left side to look sort of like the loop on the right side so that it looks finished. It won't have to be perfect, but if your eyes feel like they're pretty close, then they're probably pretty close, close enough. And then you can go ahead and crimp the other side as well. So we've got tons of colors at Softflex. You know, this kit has copper, but we've got lots of beautiful colors, dark blue, lapis, we've got fluorite, turquoise, name it we probably have a color uh, that matches it but it is fun to use the metallic colors just because they look so much like a chain um, but what's great about softflex is the nylon coating is hypoallergenic it's not gonna uh, really bother your skin like sometimes a plated chain if I'm wearing it will start to really bother my neck I've noticed, whereas if it's soft flex, I never have that issue. It just feels really nice on your skin. All right, so we've got our first finished design with this beautiful picture jasper, some Swarovski crystals, and then some Czech glass beads. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make one other item. Mm, I can't stay on too long today since I'm not 100% uh, butter but I'll definitely make at least like a pair of earrings or something. Um, we have so many fun things here. I think these bugle beads are super fun. Really cute. Oops, maybe do something. Oh, maybe the seed beads too. Would be kind of fun. So I'm just gonna move this off to the side. Anytime you're storing a uh, jewelry design with free floating a soft flex it's really good to roll it like it's on the spool of soft flex that'll help keep it from getting pinched a lot of times when I store my jewelry designs to travel which I was just doing a bunch of today for my trip next week I will roll it in a circle set it in a baggie and then zip up the baggie and then that's how it will travel in my bag and that keeps it from getting pinched or having any issues kinks later on um, so that guy's all done um, so I was thinking about some earrings like some drops or something so how do I I'm probably gonna have to cut these free Hopefully I don't make a humongo mess doing this, but I guess if I do, it's not the worst thing in the world, huh? Or is it that unusual, really? Okay, so what I was kind of picturing, we do have some ear wires in here. Mm, I have head pins, too. That's nice. Do, do. I was thinking about um, kind of a fringy type of a look. So I'm trying to figure out how I might come up with that with these particular materials. <laughs> can be a little tricky. So I might have to just do one nice long dangle earring. Um, so to start out, I'm going to make my own head pin with my wire. I've got my copper crimp and then I'm going to back into the crimp again and just pull it down. doesn't really matter how tight because I'm going to cut off the bottom. And go ahead and crimp. I make these uh, flexible head pins using soft flex all the time. And then I'm just going to trim off that little loop at the bottom and then I'm going to trim off that there and then I'll just cut a length that I know is more than enough for the project that I'm doing today. 
Um, so now I've got what I would call like a soft flex head pin. That crimp is nice and stable down there on the bottom. It's going to hold my beads on my wire. Well, first thing first, I think I might try one of these guys at the bottom. And, um, and then I was thinking about, I just love how pretty these bugle beads have this sort of like yellow, um, golden translucency there. I mean, they're just really, it's like they're glowing. They're so pretty. I was thinking, well, maybe I'll do a two, um, a two strand one here. So I've just got my bugle, my seed bead, another seed bead, and bugle. I'm going to do a few, get a few on here. Patty says, do I have to be a person who sells to buy from your company? No, you don't. You can be a retail customer. You need to log in if you're a designer with a wholesale account to get your appropriate pricing, or if you're a bead store or a distributor, you log in to get your appropriate pricing on our website. But if you go to our website and you just purchase, you will get retail pricing, and um, and that that you, you can buy from us directly. Great question. And these kits are like a perfect example of the kinds of things we sell on our website um, that you know, you can only find on our website. They are exclusive to the Softflex Company website, and they're really made for retail customers to test out and, and enjoy our products. Okay, so I've got, um, I've got quite a few beads on here, and what I was thinking is I'm going to put my crimp tube on, and then I'm just going to kind of double back to make a second... Um, part to this tassel. So it's going to hang down kind of next to that. So on this one, I'm going to start because the way the seed bead is running, I think I'm going to start. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to run back through the seed bead? Let me see. Try running this wire back through the CB to see how I feel about you want to be careful when you do things like this because this is a situation where you could kink the wire if you don't go slowly so I ran the wire back into the seed bead at the top as well as the crimp and um, I think that'll just make it sit a little bit more nicely okay we'll see who knows maybe I'm wrong Okay, so we're going to put a bugle bead and we're going to go back down in the same way we came up. A bugle bead, a seed bead. A bugle bead, a seed bead. And I'm not going to go the whole way. I'll do one more bugle and then we'll do it asymmetrical here, not the... I don't know if asymmetrical is the right. We'll do it graduated here. So we've got one long and one short. And then I'm going to get my second crimp tube. Oh, I didn't crimp up here. Let's do that first. Where did my bead stopper go? I'm going to use my handy dandy bead stopper. I really cannot live without these things. <laughs> they save my life, especially when I'm doing live videos and I don't want my beads to go flying everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I've got my crimp tube in the center. I'm going to go ahead and crimp. You can always add your ear wire after. And get that settled so I don't forget to go back and do that later. And then I can come down to the bottom here. And I'm going to crimp. I'm just going to pass this little tail back in for my second strand inside that copper crimp tube. And I can feed that up the bead probably. Oh, it's a little bit of a tight bead hole. Oh, it's not bad, okay. It will go in there. 
Well, either way, I'm going to slide this as close to that bead as I can get so I'm getting a nice good hold on it and compress and compress I'm just spinning and compressing until I get a beautiful little, I won't even worry about that wire that went back up inside the bead. It's no big deal. I can just trim off as long as it's not poking out anywhere. Nobody will even know the difference. And then I'll go ahead and open up my ear wire and slide this little guy on here and I'll have what looks kind of like a little fringe earring um, that will match really nicely with that necklace that I just made. So I'll go ahead and finish up the second earring and I will post pictures of what I made in our VIB Softflex group. If you haven't joined our Softflex group, please do go and join it and you will get to see what everybody is posting, hopefully starting today, using their, let's get you guys looking over here, using their Harvest uh, Moon kit. I want you guys to all run to the Softlex website, buy next month's kit. It's our Halloween inspired kit. It's called Black Magic. It is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna do it on Halloween afternoon. And while you're there, check out our new trio, which is one of my favorite color combinations, Autumn Spice. That's available now, too, as of just, like, yesterday. So that's there. And then check out the finding sale. We've got all of our crimps, clasps, head pins, eye pins, what have you, all that stuff you're going to need as the holidays start sneaking up on us Um at 20% off, so that'll be great for you to check out. Rosanna said she's already posting, so go check out what Rosanna made with the Harvest Moon Kit on the VIB group, and hopefully, if you're not already participating, we'll start seeing what everyone else is making too, because um, it's amazing for us to see all the different things you make, not just from our kits or our live sales, but just in general. It's very inspiring to see what you're making. And uh, we, of course, encourage beading as much as possible. So please share with us what you're making. And um, so next week, I won't be here. I'll be in Ohio with my friend Neele and uh, my friend Jill Wiseman, and we'll be filming uh, Beats, Bobbles, and Jewels. I'm going to try to do a live show of some sort, but I haven't planned anything yet because I've been sick this week. Um, oh, hey, Neele. He says, ooh, black magic sounds mysterious. It is. It's very mysterious and Halloween-y. Very spooktacular, actually. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, at any rate, Nile, I'm hoping to rope him into a live video next week. Maybe I will bring um, a mixture of stuff and we'll have an on-the-spot design challenge <laughs> in our place uh, that we're staying. Um, we'll see what happens and how much energy we have between the taping of our, of our segments and uh, the meetings that I need to go to. But at any rate, I will miss all of you next week. Nile is suggesting a pajama party. That would be really fun, Nile. I like it. I'm sure everyone would love to see your pajamas. <laughs> Kristen says, oh, she likes to do that. Yeah. I like to do it and have you put on your pajamas and I put on my pajamas, which are actually like really uh, yoga pants <laughs> t-shirts. Um, anyway. I'm out of here, and I will see you guys in two weeks. Check out Kristen. Uh, well, James has a new video posting to today, actually, on YouTube. He's got a, a ring tutorial video that's posting. Um, I'm confused since it's Thursday, but I think it posts today. And then uh, next Monday, you're going to find Kristen every Monday live on YouTube, 11 a.m., doing her free spirit beating, which could be just about anything you could imagine. Um, 
with Kristen, you know, depending on what she is in the mood to do that day. Um, so it could be knitting or macrame or who knows. So join her to find out what she's doing next Monday. And then I might have a YouTube video. I might if I film it right now for next week. <laughs> so we'll see next Thursday, there may be a special YouTube video from me as well. All right, I'm out. Adios, everybody. You guys have a great Thursday, and I hope you enjoy the Harvest Moon Kit as much as I did, and I look forward to Black Magic on Halloween. Talk to you all later. Bye.